So this little guy decided to drown in my pond. I'm gonna see if I could uh, get the skin off of him with a flake. I've not done something this small before, so Let's see how it goes. Trying to save as much of the fur as I can. Switching back and forth between razor blade and uh, stone blade. It's coming along. I got him open on the front. I'm going to take the paws off. Paws off. Now, I'd be really careful if you're cutting through any of the bone um, not to clip yourself on their bone because their bone is going to be very sharp. But Okay. Almost got it. Now, let's see if I can. So now I just gotta rinse it and dry it and salt it. I'm good to go. Half an hour. I was very, very slow. Switching back between, back and forth between a flint flake and a resin blade. And that's gonna be something's dinner tonight. So I got the skin off. There's um, little arm holes that I'm not quite too sure what to do with. Um, and his face, which came off strange. So I'm gonna rinse this area. I'll probably cut that area. And I'll get all this grime off of him.
just try to get as much of that stuff off as I can. All right. So now I'm going to try to stretch them out and tack them down and figure out later what I need to cut off. That needs to be scraped. I need to get all the chunks of meat off. And I'm gonna use a piece of flint to do that little scraper. And I'll just show you a little bit of that. Um, I would assume you don't wanna do too hard on something like a chipmunk because it's probably really easy to rip the skin. Yeah, that chunk of meat came off right there. That's what you're trying to do with the scraper. And you want to get as much of that meat off as you can. This piece I'm going to cut off. So I have not used borax before. I'm just going to be my first time trying it. We'll see how it goes. You want to make sure it goes under the tacks a little bit because otherwise uh, it'll rot where the tacks are. Just lift them a little and put them back in. And just rub this in. So I got the borax all over him, but I'm still going to add some salt just because I'm a little nervous about it. I've never tried it before. And then we'll put him somewhere safe for a few days. We'll come back to it and we'll see how it is. So I'm uh, doing my little chipmunk project here. I let them soak overnight in an alum borax solution with some salt in it. And I stretched them out with pens. There's a tick right there. Anyway, I'm going to take a borax and alum paste. I mixed it together with a little bit of water and I'm just going to rub it into the skin like this. And then I'll leave that sit for two or three days and come back and do it again. And then it, after that, I just gotta stretch it a little bit more and pull it with my hands a lot and it should turn into a nice leather. And we'll see how it looks. So it's been a few days and he's looking pretty good. He's really flexible, really soft. I probably could have left him in a little bit longer, but he turned nice and white inside. And uh, maybe I'll trim up those edges and make them into a uh, nice little pouch carry some flint flakes in it um, this method is way softer than the egg tanning that I did on a squirrel but um, I'll have to experiment with this a little bit I like how this feels um, I'm gonna try brain tanning 
next time to see if it compares to this. But this is really soft, really, like, really flexible. It came out pretty good. Go one more look right here. Hide tanning with borax and alum. Or alum, however you want to say it.